So, guys, this is it for us. This is it. After this, we're done. What's going on, guys? Frank and Gordy here for our last episode. This is it. This is the final episode of 2020 for us. Now, before we kick things off, we'd like to thank the Western Dragonara in St. Julian's for uh, hooking us up with this outstanding suite so we can film our last episode of the year. So thanks again, Western Dragonara St. Julian's. Now, moving on, 2020. This sure has been one hell of a year like no other, huh, Frank? It sure has. We were expecting an exciting turn as we entered this decade. But instead, <laughs> we were surprised with a worldwide pandemic. <laughs> a pandemic of all things. We're living in a time which no one dreamt we'd ever live through. 2020 brought massive disruption to people's lives. It brought about massive destruction to people's businesses. Yes, this pandemic ravaged the world. Many struggled throughout the year and are still struggling. And people are scared and frustrated and even broken. Yep, many have lost their jobs. They're struggling with their livelihoods. There's uncertainty around and stress levels are at an all time high for many. It's been devastating for most to say the least. And going through a year like this could make it easy for people's minds to play tricks on them and become negative. Life could really suck for those who focus on the negative, if you ask me. That's the problem right there. The situation that we're facing means that people are more easily focusing on the negative. And when you do that, everything seems to become worse. Whatever we focus on grows, right? That's the way it generally goes. You focus on the negative and negative grows. You focus on problems and you get more problems. That's it. On the flip side, you focus on solutions and solutions generally find you. You focus on opportunities and the opportunities grow. If you think about it, to a large degree, we don't control the economy, we don't control the government, we don't control the climate. So to make the most of things, we've got to literally focus on what we can control rather than what we cannot control. Now that's a big part of the issue, you see. Too many focus on what they cannot control, which never leads to anywhere good. However, we do have control on many things. And one thing we can control is our focus. We can control what we focus on. And we've got to focus on the positive. We've got to focus on the silver lining, which there always is. We've got to focus on opportunities, no matter what we're going through, no matter what the situation is out there. Now, a number of positives have come out of this difficult year. People have become more creative. And many have demonstrated their ability to adapt and innovate differently, for example. That's it. You know, many have managed to flip the script. And this is what everyone needs to do as 2021 gets closer. Everyone needs to be above the negative noise of the media and so on. And they need to flip the script. So the question is, how can people rebound and get themselves ready for the best year ahead? I believe it all has to do with mindset. Mindset is very powerful and it could either make you or break you. Mindset, agreed. But the question would be, how can people convert from a lockdown mentality to a mindset that'll help them rebound and kill 2021? I would definitely start off with saying that one needs to be productive. I don't care what's going on out there. You've got to get your mind and your hands busy. Busy doing something meaningful, busy getting creative. So not allowing yourself to get bored. You've got to keep your mind and body active and busy so you don't allow boredom. That's a good way of, of putting it really. If, if your life becomes boring, you generally become lazy. And if you become lazy, it means you're gonna be inactive. And when you're inactive, when there's no action, you end up with no energy. Laziness, no energy, being bored, you know, those are all negative traits. You've got to be producing. You've got to be creating and, and working hard and moving towards meaningful goals. Another important point to keep a positive and growth mindset would be to find yourself a solid support group. Definitely. You need to surround yourself with the right group of people. It's a must. We're referring to family, 
friends, uh, co-workers. You've got to become picky to a point that people have to sort of qualify to be in your circle. I couldn't agree with you more. You know, you need to get yourself around people who encourage you, who motivate you. You've got to be around people who will listen to you and give you good advice. People who, who push you and uplift you. Positive people, people you can turn to, people who will give you a pat on the back, people that you can rely on, people who will uplift and motivate you. You know, you need these people in your life. You need them so that when the going gets tough, you can keep going. People who don't allow you to get negative. People who help you to nip negativity in the bud. Okay, so we've spoken about two points, how we can adjust and get ready to have a great 2021. We've spoken about uh, being productive and we've spoken about support having a support groups. group. That's right. I would say the third point is to just be thankful. You know, having an attitude of gratitude, just being in a constant mindset of thinking about things you could be thankful for. You know, forget everything else. Forget the things you've got no control over and forget things you don't have. Being thankful, that's a great one. If we think about all the things that we could be thankful for, there is little to no chance that you can slip into negative territory. I mean, being thankful automatically fights off negativity and it keeps you in a positive mindset which you absolutely need to help you to rise above the challenge. When you're positive, you stay in control of your life. That's the most important thing. A positive mindset is a way to keep yourself motivated. There's so much to be thankful for. Sometimes we take things for granted, yet we have so much that others don't. And that's it. To get into the right mindset, I would say, put these three things into action now, and we're set to kill 2021. So, keep yourself productive, be around a positive support group, and keep a thankful attitude. I would say those are possibly the top three. They're kind of easy, they're a foolproof formula to help anyone face the future with strength, with optimism and hope. So guys, this is it for us. This is it. After this, we're done. That's it for 2020, but the best is yet to come. Now, before we shut down, we want to thank all our subscribers for believing in us. And for those, you know, the rest of you, who knows, you might consider hitting that subscribe button right now. Anyways, we wish you guys all the best for 2021. And, and stay positive and keep safe out there. Frank and Gordon out.